Hi everyone, welcome back to Fun Kids, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the Rubik's Cube. So first of all, you need to learn the basics. Uh, every color of the cube and uh, which side is opposite. First of all, uh, you should know that there's six sides on the Rubik's Cube. And each, uh, like, each center cannot move to another space and the center still st uh, stays there. That is not possible on a Rubik's Cube. So you should know that uh, always uh, the orange center is opposite of the uh, red center and the uh, yellow center is opposite of the white center and the green center is opposite of the blue center. And also you should know the names of uh, all the pieces. So these pieces are called edges, these pieces are called corners, and these pieces are called centers. So those are the basics, that's, and that's all you need to know uh, for okay, the basics. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you all the notations. Notations are where uh, you, like the thing that I'll call out for you to swing right, left, up, down, back, and so on. Uh, so, like, uh, for doing the right hand side up, it's R. So R is the right hand side up, and R and uh, up is counter. I mean, uh, R just with a plain R is clockwise, and R prime will have like a comma or apostrophe or something in it and it'll be uh, R prime they call that R prime and R prime means that you do the R side down so now uh, we'll go on to the left side the left side up uh, is L prime and the left side down is L. Okay, now we'll do U. So the U side, uh, when you spin it to the right, it's U prime. And when you spin it to the left, it's U. See how when I do U, I go clockwise, and when I do U prime, I go counterclockwise? So uh, the next notation you need to know is D. So D is uh, uh, this way. So the down face is going right, that's D. And the if the down face is going left, that's D uh, prime. So now uh, you have to learn the other notations. There's still two more. So this is F, where the front face goes uh, right. And this is F prime, where the front uh, face goes uh, left. The back face goes right, it's uh, B prime. And when the back face goes left, uh, it's B. So now you learned all the notations. So you're good for now. You can just practice on memorizing those and then we can move on to the next step. So now we're going to move on uh, to solving the cube. The first step is to make the daisy and the daisy is where all the white uh, edges go on the top side and a daisy uh, has uh, white on the outside and yellow in the middle so that's why it's called a daisy. So now First, we're going to find one edge uh, with white on it. So how are we going to get this up here? Uh, this is how we're going to do it. We have to bring the uh, white side to our front and then do R to get it up to the top. Now, uh, that's one of the cases and that's how you solve it. And have two of the white uh, 
sides on the white uh, white edges on the top where we want them to be uh, on the yellow center so now you have to find another edge and put it up uh, yeah so we have three now but uh, something's wrong this last edge is on the bottom and it's not uh, uh, we can't like get it up to the top without uh, like uh, doing some algorithm or something not an algorithm but it's some set of moves that you have to do so you want this to go on the uh, on the second layer so you can just turn the front face once any direction F or F prime it doesn't matter and then you can uh, like you can do this but uh, then uh, this edge will come out of the yellow spot so you have to find another edge uh, another free spot and then put it on so now you have your daisy this is another case that you might run into where you can't find anything on the uh, front face on the bottom row or the second row so and it's not on the top row anywhere flipped over or anything so now uh, you have to search the bottom and you see that it's on the bottom so now you have to find the free spot and turn the front face two times and the daisy comes up this is another case that you might run into where you want the edge flipped and it uh, the white is here and you want the other color to come here so what you can do is just turn the front face any direction once and now it comes on the side and you can find a free spot and then put the edge in now you have the daisy finished so the next step you have to do is finish the white cross and in order to do the white cross you need to align uh, this color on one of the white edges with the right center and they have to be on a a horizontal line and then now you can do the front face two times and then it comes down in the correct spot now you find another one and it's already aligned so you can do the front face two times and then now this one is not aligned so what you do is you uh, turn the upper face until it's aligned and then you uh, put these down uh, until it comes all the way down so and then you do the uh, you do the same thing with the other edges until it uh, solves the cross and then you're done with the cross so the next step is to get the right corners to the right place so white is on the top and it needs to go here and these two colors match and they need to go here so what you need to do is you have to learn an algorithm called the right algorithm and it's very easy to memorize so I'll show it to you on a solved cube like if you do the right algorithm six times then it will come back to, to normal it's R U R prime U prime 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 R U R prime yeah and so on and then for this you do the same thing until the white comes down so R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime so now uh, you want to find another one that's on the top and uh, you can put it here in the right places so these two colors have to match these two and 
you have to do the right algorithm until it comes down. R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime. Now there's another corner up and this corner goes over here. So you can do the right algorithm until it comes down. R U R prime U prime. And sometimes a corner, I mean, uh, like some corner might not be on the uh, top. So if it's on the bottom, like in this case, it's on the right place. So uh, if these two colors match these, you can still do the right algorithm until it comes to the bottom. R, U, R prime, U prime. R, U, R prime, U prime. So this, uh, you might end up with this case where uh, a corner is on the bottom slice and there's none on the top and it's the wrong one and this one is here and it's the wrong one. So what you can do to take one out is do the right algorithm once and then it comes out. So you can just insert it by doing the right algorithm. Uh, until it goes down and then that automatically pops the other one down uh, I mean out of the this slot because you're inserting this one so then you can bring this to the right place where it's white and these two colors match these two centers and then you can do right algorithm until it comes down so you finish the first layer and now we're gonna move on to the second layer so you want uh, the edges uh, for like it's uh, in this example it's uh, blue and red so you have to find the blue and red edge which is right here and the color on the front face is blue so you have to go and match it up with blue and if you want it to come to the uh, right side you have to do it the opposite way so the left side and if you want it to come to the left side, you have to do it the opposite. You have to turn the top, top U, wh uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, to the right so, uh, so that it's opposite of here. In this case, uh, you want to turn it to the left. Uh, so, like, uh, so it's like opposite to the one that you need to do it. So after you do that, if uh, it's on, if you turn it to the left side and the uh, place that you need to put it is here, then you'll do the left algorithm once and then uh, turn it here and then do the right algorithm once uh, so, and then it'll be solved. But in this case, you want to put this here and then do the right algorithm once and then turn it uh, the opposite way from the edge and then do left algorithm once. And then you find another edge and this time it needs to do the same thing. And then you find another edge, but this time it needs to go here, so you turn it opposite to the place that it needs to go and then you do the left uh, and then you do the left algorithm because it's on the left slot and then you turn it uh, so that you face opposite of the edge and you do the right algorithm once and you do the same thing for this this is one of the cases that you need to do uh, if the none of the edges that you need are on top uh, and remember to not use any yellow edges you don't need any yellow edges because yellow is on the top and the uh, and for example uh, like the green and the green and orange edge is in here but it needs to go here and the blue and orange edge is here and it needs to go here so to take this one out you can do the same thing uh, as inserting it like pretend 
uh, you want to insert this piece in here so then uh, you know what to do you have to turn this piece this way and then do the right algorithm once and then left algorithm once and now you brought this out so after that you know what to do you turn it this way right algorithm once left algorithm once uh, and then that automatically pops out the other one so then you have to turn the do uh, you right algorithm once left algorithm once and then that solves the second now the next step is to solve the yellow cross so uh, in this situation you have the angle so you have to put the angle so that it's at 330 like on a clock 330 and then you do uh, the small r uh, capital r uh, I mean uh, capital R is like where you do one side and small r is where you do two so now you have to turn it so that the angle is uh, like uh, for example uh, 1215 and then you can do uh, R like uh, lowercase r or double and then you can do right algorithm once and then turn it this way and do reverse or double and then that solves the cross this is another situation when you have a line and this time you can just turn it this way and instead of double R you can just do R and then turn it this way and do uh, right algorithm and then turn it back here and do this and then the cross is solved now this is the last situation or case if you want to call it that uh, uh, to solve the white I mean yellow cross uh, so it's just a dot in the middle a plain dot so if you if you end up in that you can just turn it here do R and then turn it back do right algorithm once and then turn here and then do R prime now you have the uh, angle so make it at uh, turn it this way or you can just turn the upper face so that it's uh, 1230 I mean 1215 and then you can do uh, R double and then turn it this way and then do right algorithm once and then R double prime and you have the okay so the next step uh, you need to make these two edges match with the right centers this is already matched and you have to check if they're matched you can turn the top layer until you find uh, like at least one is matched and then uh, you have to check so this is matched with these two because it's uh, orange and blue orange blue and then uh, next uh, you check for this so red blue red blue next you check uh, green orange red green so this one is wrong so you know that two are correct so far and then red green orange uh, I mean green orange and this one is wrong too so you need to do both of these which is called a parallel swap you need to swap them so this is how uh, like these are already solved and you don't have to care about the yellow thing have to, uh, having to be up yet so this is how you do the parallel swap it's uh, right algorithm three times and then turn it the other way uh, where the uh, the opposite color uh, of this is the opposite of this and then you do left algorithm three times and when you do that, you have to make sure the two edges that you have to switch 
are on your right side. This is another case that you may stumble upon. So uh, you see that one corner is solved and this one is not solved, this one is not solved, and this one is not solved. So three are not solved. So you have to find uh, one that uh, needs to go the opposite space. So this needs to come here and uh, so you have to do r and don't care about this edge right now we'll fix that later and then so you do you have to put the one slash swap on your right and do right algorithm three times and then left algorithm three times yeah you have to turn the other way and then do left algorithm three times and now you have these two correct uh, but now these two are not correct, but they need to switch. So you do right algorithm three times, and then left algorithm three times. And then now all the corners are in the right place. Okay, so this is another case where you have two diagonally correct, but you need to swap two diagonally. So you can just put it in any pose where the cross is on top and the white is on bottom. And then you can just do right algorithm three times and then turn it to the right and do left algorithm three times. Uh, and then you have to uh, turn the top face until you have two of them that are correct. And this time I only had to turn it once. So. Uh, this is correct and this is correct but, but these two need to swap so you do right algorithm three times and then you turn it to the right and you do left algorithm three times and then now all the corners are solved the next step is uh, that you have to make the uh, yellow uh, corners sticker come to the top so now uh, you have to turn it upside down so that uh, uh, the yellow cross is on the bottom and the white side is on the top and then you have to hold one unsolved edge on your right side and do the right algorithm until it comes down and then after that you have to turn the down face until uh, uh, unsolved edge comes here so you have to do the right algorithm until it comes down and then you have to turn it again until another one comes and you have to repeat this step until all the yellow stickers are on the bottom okay so now uh, like you have all the corners solved but you need the edges swapped so if you already have one side solved and only three edges need to be swapped, then you put the uh, solve side in front and you do the right algorithm once and then left algorithm once and then right algorithm five times. Three. Four, five, and then now left algorithm five times. One, two, three, four, five. And if it's not solved, then you have to repeat the same step one more time. Right algorithm once, left algorithm once, Right algorithm five times, two, three, four, five. Now left algorithm three times. One, two, three, four, five. And now your cube is solved. So another case that you might have is where none of the edges are solved and you need all of them solved. So what you can do 
is just hold it on anywhere where the yellow face is up and the white face is down and then do right algorithm once and then left algorithm once and then right algorithm five times one two three four five and then left algorithm five times one two three four five and now you see that you have one side solved and uh, three edges are not solved so you hold the side that's solved in front and you do a uh, right algorithm once left algorithm once right algorithm five times one two three four five and then left algorithm five times one two three four five and if it still doesn't solve then you have to do it on you have to do that thing until it gets solved so in this case it got solved already so congratulations you learned how to solve the rubik's cube uh, in the beginner's method you should be proud of yourself and i hope you liked the video and i hope it was easy because this is the easiest method because it's beginners and uh, i think it'll work out really well if you keep on trying Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, turn on the notification bell, and comment below if you got it right or if you want me to explain something else or you didn't get anything. And make sure you stay tuned for more videos. Bye.